Marketing's video of the week. My name is Roger Gallegos. I'm the founder and CEO of Beacon Marketing. Today's video has to, is, is very special because it is uh, the beginning of a collaboration between uh, myself, Beacon Marketing, and a local marketing, co uh, sorry, local branding company by the name of Four Directions Branding. Uh, for more information on Four Directions Branding, I will include a link to their website in the description below. So please take a uh, keep an eye out for that. But essentially. Uh, this collaboration, collaboration came about because I was meeting with the owners, Glenn and Maria, and talking about uh, branding and marketing, how they relate. And we found a lot of common ground, specifically the belief that authentic branding and effective marketing uh, really are the foundations for a successful business, so much so that we started calling it the formula to success. So we came, we used that as a basis for a collaboration called the formula or formula to success. And we are working together on co-hosting a Facebook group where we're going to be discussing um, matters pertaining to marketing and branding and how the two work together to build better and stronger, uh, better and stronger business. And we believe that the be more uh, successful, small and medium sized businesses out there, the better the world will be. So in this Facebook group, it's a free to join. It's an open group. Uh, we're going to facilitate discussions, talk about branding, talk about marketing, and really help people understand how the two can be used together uh, to really grow a, a successful business. And so we, um, we invite you to join and participate in this discussion. Uh, we're also going to have some future things coming together, but I want to wait until we are properly ready to make those announcements. So uh, if you have any questions about Four Directions Branding, about the group, about the collaboration, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, regarding today's content, this is the first piece of content in that collaboration. And just so you know, whenever you see the Formula to Success logo on the thumbnail for one of my videos or in the header image for one of my blogs, then that content has something to do with that collaboration uh, and specifically something that we're working on. So keep an eye out for that. Not all my content will be related to that, even though all my content is obviously related to marketing, but there's going to be some uh, a lot of content that's specifically designed for uh, that group. So please keep an eye out for such things. So uh, moving on to today's topic, which is why branding is so important to marketing, particularly from a marketing perspective. Now, if you look at branding, branding is a really internal process. Now, too many people conflate marketing and branding. They think it's the same thing, but there's really two sides of the same coin where branding is an internal process where you take the steps to say, this is who we are and this is what we're about and this is what we believe. Marketing is that is your branding put out to the world. It's how you deploy it. It's how you put it out and let people know who and what you are. So if you think of it this way, branding internal, marketing external, you start seeing how the two are different. They, they're really intertwined, but they really are two different processes and they need to be treated as such in the sense that marketing comes first and then branding. So from a marketing perspective, if you do not have your branding done, then you kind of lost. You really don't know where to go. And that is why it is so important to have your branding developed first, because if you don't have your branding developed, you really don't know what you're doing when it comes to marketing. And that's what I really want to speak to in today's video. I'm going to give you four ways why how defining your brand first really helps with your marketing efforts. So we'll jump right into that by first and foremost talking about your target audience. Um, when you define your brand, you understand and relate, you're able to understand and relate to your target audience better with your marketing because you, like I said, internally you define who you are and what you're about. That means you know who exactly, you should know who, or at least have a good idea of who you want to target as your best customer. So when it comes to developing messaging and understanding where your target audience gets their information, you've already laid the groundwork so you're able to go out there and attract those clients and convert them into paying clients or paying customers. So the first way that defining your brand helps you in your marketing efforts is you're better, to, you're better able to understand and relate to your target audience. So that's the first reason. The next is you're able to define what makes unique. And this 
is truly important. Uh, an essential uh, objective for any marketing strategy or any marketing plan is to, how can you make your business stand out? Your business is unique. There's no other business like it. No matter what else is out there, even in the same industry, your business is unique. However, if you don't take the time in the branding phase to define exactly what that uniqueness is, then you're unable to really articulate that in your marketing efforts. So that goes unsaid. Therefore, you became just an, you become just another business in your industry, whether that's a restaurant or a tire shop or a landscaping company or even a dentist's office or a lawyer's office. You become just another business because you have not taken the time in the branding stage of things, in the internal phase, to determine what makes you unique. So when it comes to marketing, you say the same bland things, you say the same things that everyone else is saying, therefore to your audience that we just talked about, you look like you're the exact same company and there's no differentiating factor. Whereas if you take that time to say, this is what makes us unique, then whenever you speak to your audience, you will be able to infuse a little bit of that uniqueness, whether it's your colors, whether it's your brand or your logo or some sort of flair, in your content, you're able to sit there and say, this is what makes it stand out. So when someone sees you, you're like, oh, that's that tire company that's downtown that does this. Or there's that that uh, dentist office that is on the other side of town that they, they really do this really unique thing that I, really, I saw on a commercial that I really liked. So the second way that defining your brand helps you in your marketing efforts is that it uh, makes speaking about your uniqueness a lot much easier. So the first two ways so far are understand and relate to your audience and define what makes you unique. Now, the third way. Now, this probably might be the most important one. If you ask me if I had to read numbers, I probably might put this number one, but it's knowing your why. There's a reason why you're in business. Maybe it's just, I didn't want to work for somebody else. I want to cut my own paycheck. Or this is a family business. I took it over. Couldn't be happier. Or, you know what, I saw other people doing it that I could do it better. Whatever your story is, and if you know any of my content, you know how important storytelling, uh, how much I believe storytelling is such an integral part of marketing. Well, again, similar to your brand or to uh, your unique value proposition, what makes you unique, if you don't take the time to uh, develop your brand, then you don't really, you're not really able to articulate your why. So that does not come through in your message. You, you're not able to sit there and say, this is my why. Like for instance, Beacon Marketing's why is I want to create a world where small and medium-sized businesses have a way to succeed against larger companies who wish to push them out and gain a larger share of the market for themselves. I believe that small and medium-sized businesses are integral to the success of cities throughout, particularly smaller cities or medium-sized cities, and I want people to have more opportunities to have success that is for their own. So that is my why. That is why I started Beacon Marketing. That's why I worked so hard to do it. And I'm able to speak to that off the cuff. There's no, I don't need to think about it. I don't need to pause. It comes out in my messaging. So you need to determine what your why is in your branding phase before you get to your marketing phase because then you're able to speak to it in a more coherent fashion. Next, and this this is the last one. So okay, so let's do a short recap. Understand and relate to your target audience. Define what makes you unique and know your why. The last, speak to why you are the better option. This sort of ties everything together. When you look at your target audience, what makes you unique and your why at the end of the day, it really speaks to why you're the better option. However, if you haven't taken the time to define that, then your audience won't understand it. And it all speaks to what I said about earlier, where you just look like a generic company in your industry just trying to make a sale. But if you take that time to lay the groundwork in your branding phase, when it comes to marketing, then you are able to speak directly to your target audience about the pain points they're experiencing and how you are best equipped to solve them. You are able to tell uh, the story about what makes you unique and tell the story of your why, why you got into the business that you're in and why you work so hard.
If you do those things, you're able to reach your target audience with a message that defines your business and addresses their pain points and make a connection with them. And they are that much likely, more likely to visit your business and become, and depending on how you do on delivering upon your promise, you have a greater chance of them becoming a repeat customer. So to recap, defining your brand makes marketing easier for your business by understanding and relating to your target audience, defining what makes you unique, knowing your why, and speaking as to why you are the best option to address your audience's pain points. You put all this together, then you have a lot easier, uh, a lot easier uh, process of marketing your business. So, again, keep an eye out for the Formula to Success logo. Whenever you see that, then there's something important regarding that collaboration. I promise you'll have more information about the group, about the collaboration, about the things that we're doing together with Four Directions Brand. Look for the Four Directions Branding, I'm sorry. Look for their uh, uh, link to their website in the description below. Look for the link to the blog in the description below. Look for the link to the invite to the Facebook group in the description below as well. Uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. And I hope to hear from you soon. Have a good one. Bye.